Yosh. Hello, this is James from Never Stop Shooting, and today we'll be continuing our playthrough of Dishonored 2. Now, last time we went through the tutorial, which I am so sorry that we went through and I've never gone through before, and we saw all what's going on here. So I'm going to start with the person I actually appreciated the most, Emily Caldwin. You could play as Corvo, but I didn't like his skill set as much, and it reminded me too much of the first Dishonored game, so... Yeah, we're picking her. Cast you in cold marble. Oh, that's terrible. Sweet girl, over time you'll come to love me. Perhaps someday you'll see me as the mother you lost. But until then, you'll be kept out of trouble. To be honest, if that actually happened, that wouldn't be a bad thing. Like, <clears throat> to have a mother just come in and say, when I was a boy, so now I wear this uniform and I send 20 year olds out to patrol the Rose Gardens instead of drinking with the men from the shooting club. Weird. Anyways. Captain Ramsey, I heard shouting. Oh, now I can't remember what it's going to say. I am so sorry. Oh, and she. Captain Mayhew. That's terrible. Sword folds in half. A sword which you can hide easily. Although it's gotta be not as strong as everything else. There's a legend in the Tower Guard about the Empress's last resort, a safe room inside your chambers holding enough gold to buy a good sized island. It exists say that this ring is one of the only two keys to exist. I think Corvo had the other one, though. Which is weird, because in Corvo's playthrough, you still have to get this ring back. Which I don't get. Now, I am making the decision right now. I'm going to go through this game trying not to kill anybody. If I end up killing people, I end up killing people. I can do alone. I need to get out of here. Okay, so there's really not much you can do in this, so you can collect different things, you can collect pieces of paper. I'm not going to bother reading them all. If you want to actually pause and take a look at all what these say, you can. But, uh, I, I find it slows the gameplay down too much to go looking through all of that. It's going to crawl out the window and see if I can get somewhere else. It feels like everything just changed. Oh, we get to see the girl. Sort of witch. How is this possible? Where's the royal protector? There's a coup underway. My father is... He's in prison. No, he's straight up stone. You've got to get out of the tower. Through your safe room. There was a captain earlier today, down at the docks. Looking for the royal protector. Find her. Get out of Dunwall. That seems like a pretty easy thing to do, but I'm sorry. It's not. It's actually way easier to go through this game killing everybody. Oh, oh no! This will be fun. These bastards are working with Ramsay and the Duke. Now there's an interesting thing that happens. Oh, ouch! Hey, don't punch me. Hey, they. You're not supposed to do that. Uh, 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 uh. I'm trying to knock him. Oh, he could have been knocked out. There we go. So if you hold him in front of you, the guy, if he attacks... Oh, he killed me too. Dang it! He was supposed to kill his buddy. You can actually hold him like that. And if you're going through a, uh, what do you call it? A playthrough where... You're trying to keep everybody alive. It's really annoying. But if you actually hold them like that, the other guy will just come in and stab. And it's like, well, that's terrible. You just sacrificed your buddy. But considering that you end up taking out I don't know how many guards, I, I think it's a little bit justified. And this time I won't be uh, walking around like some idiot. This time we'll actually do this the right way. How many times have I looked at that skyline? I 
feels like everything just changed. The other thing is, the royal I love that you can skip. Okay, so I've got my sword back. Those bastards are working with the Ramsay and the Duke of Serkonos. Now, I did pick his pocket before knocking him out. It's just something I like to do just in case I end up having to fight the guy. Once I get the pistol, I'll tell you what, there ain't nothing stopping me. I'm not saying that I'm a gung fu expert, that this game makes you feel like you are. I love that. Oh, where are you? Oh no, he saw me. I got to him first though. Yes! Take that! Now normally, Traitors. normally you could sit there and hide him in a separate location. But I'm actually going to use him to get this guy's attention so he doesn't turn around prematurely. I'll be back when I've searched the royal chambers, assuming I don't accidentally lock myself in this damn safe room. We'll cover for you. Oh, oh, he's not going to accidentally do it. We're going to lock him in. Yes, the natural order is reasserting itself. The Ramses once hosted the king and queen of Morley. Did you know that? I spent my childhood playing with the buntings and the boils. Blah, 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 blah. And very blah. soon you'll be back at the top, Captain. Uh, apparently. I don't know how they're not Ramses seeing me. finally fell from the aristocracy, and apparently the man holds a grudge. How it's my fault, that's beyond me. But one way or another, Ramsey is too Come dangerous. Come on, little me. bunny. Yeah, and we'll just walk you in like this. And I got my ring. This won't leave my hand again. Hoo -ah. Too bad you can't really punch people. You can kick them though. Now I'm just saving a bit of time because I know exactly what I need to do. So I'm picking this guy up and we're going to lock him in the safe room. So that when he's nice and cool and ready, Anton we'll let him out. And you'll hear way more about this Anton Sokolov. He is actually a pretty boss character. Another thing is, you can place people down or you can throw him down. <laughs> And you gotta be careful where you throw people down because if you throw them down, um, they can actually get pretty hurt. There we go. And this is how I'll kill everybody. Boom. The reserves won't help against Delilah. I wish I could have that much gold. Like, I better take these. Oh. Oh, I wish I could have had a lot of that. Now. As you can see, there are two uh, two things, red and blue. Blue represents the non-violent way of doing things. Red represents the guy you gotta kill. Now you've got what you wanted, Ramsay. The Imperial suite atop Dunwall Tower. Stay put until this is all set straight, Ramsay. Enjoy the rations and well water, sleeping next to a fortune. You know, well, you're not gonna do it. And you can even pick up glass bottles and throw them. Usually they'll shatter on contact, but what do I know? Ah. I gotta slow down just a bit because I'm clicking through things I know I shouldn't. And that was the first level. This game is so cool, and it, it, it picks up in coolness. As soon as you get the option of doing powers. Now, I've done a power playthrough, and I've done a non-power playthrough, because you'll pick up the ability to do that rush thing that you saw Corvo do in the last episode, where he was, like, went from one person to another, like, just in the blink of an eye, kind of. And you can play without it. And it's tough, but it's definitely worth it.
Until I understand this, I have to go into hiding. I should make my way to the docks. Well. Gotta get out of Oh, did I mention she's actually kind of an athlete? Like, she makes me Somehow look like I'm a big fat guy. To stone. I will find a way to undo it. It's just teaching you about drop down kills or knockouts. It's actually a very effective way of taking out people. Traitorous dog. I know I should be like. Whoa. Calling with the Duke's men. <laughs> oh, I've never done that before. <laughs> it's a bit too close for comfort. Okay, so now we're going to do more violence because I think they've seen me. And I don't think I can get away from this. Unless I am really lucky. Nope. Oh, okay. wait. Dang it. Normally I don't do like a triple somersault off the roof there and land face first into the pavement. Actually. I'll tell you what, we'll have to see in the next episode. This is James from Never Stop Shooting, and this is actually one game that I'm hoping to actually finish. There are only about nine levels, and if everything goes well, they shouldn't actually take too long. So this is James from Never Stop Shooting. Keep those guns in the air.